My name is Scott Swing, and uh, I create a, a variety of uh, artworks, uh, sculptures, paintings, and, uh, and creative photography. This is the project that uh, took me up to and into the lockdown, is uh, finishing up the building of my home and studio. I've never really had a problem uh, coming up with creative ideas. Uh, I seem to have more and more ideas coming to me all the time. Uh, I do have a problem with trying to make the time to, to actually get down to work on the pieces. And so when I'm not able to do the pieces directly, then I take and uh, I sketch them out into my various sketchbooks. That way, once I, I do have the time, I can, I can jump to it and, and, uh, and run with the idea that I've already sketched out. I use a wide range of tools and, and mediums and the materials that I use and the tools that I use are, are very um, based in industrial or, or uh, not, not necessarily art based. So I use tools that you would see on a construction site or you would see in a, in a, uh, a, a warehouse or an uh, industrial uh, plant. And so to create my pieces, um, I love working with raw, rough, rugged type of materials. Things that would beat up and almost discarded. And taking those materials and creating something beautiful from it. When I think of my studio space, I don't just think of the space that I have in here. Uh, certainly I love my space in this studio, but depending on the piece that I'm working on, I have, I have various areas where I, I, I use for creating. I have uh, outdoor space, and indoor space here in the studio, and depending on the piece that I'm creating, I like to have sometimes uh, loud music playing and I'm just really jamming in, in the studio and enjoying myself, and that's, that's the most creative time. Other times, I'd like to have no noise at all, very quiet and focused. And then there are times when I don't even want to be in the studio. I'll be outside and I'll be working on something uh, creative out, out in the outdoor spaces and just listening to nature. For me, the most productive time of day are the evenings. That being said, I don't limit myself to that though. I'll, if, if I feel the inspiration, if I feel motivated, uh, and I have an idea, uh, it may be two o'clock in the morning, I'll jump up and start working on something. Uh, at the moment, I've been working on about five pieces. I've got about three paintings on the go and two sculptures. I like working with multiple pieces. Uh, if I've got six, eight, ten pieces going, I, I'll work on one piece and then all of a sudden I'll, I'll have an inspiration. I'll, I'll, have some, and I'll be inspired to do something with another piece. And so I'll jump to, from piece to piece and I find for me that works really well. For future plans, I have a plan to finish working up here in the studio to create a space to have a show that I'm planning to do in November. And uh, that would be to show some of the pieces that I've been creating here over the lockdown period and, uh, and lots of my other work as well. I would have to say that graffiti and street art are really the, the, the types of work that inspire me most. I would have to say that the, of, of the big name artists, that the Basquiat would be one of the persons that I really uh, admire his work. However, when it comes to looking up to, I have to say that that would be my dad. Um, my dad was really influential in, in showing me how to take discarded items and, and turn them into something that is beautiful and functional. He also taught me various techniques for, for uh, auto body painting that I, I still use today in many of my works. Recently I've been spending a lot of time uh, with some young artists to uh, work with them and help them with their, their, their skills and their, their development. And if I, if I can close on one, one thought, what I'd like to say to them is don't listen to the people that are telling you what art is. Don't listen to what they say you, the rules are for art. Take your ideas and, and take your dreams and create something that you love and love creating it.